Hey, oh, mate. How are you doing? You're running seventh, Gareth. Well done. Hello, sir. Welcome to day 2714. But what's that, might you ask? Well, it's nothing, it's not a milestone, it's not a mega day, it's not like something important to anyone else in the world, but it could be to me. So, for those that don't know, I've main maintained a run streak. So a run streak, running every day, at least a mile, nothing more than the doctor ordered, on the roads, the fells, the trails, the treadmill, up a hill, down a hill, unassisted, but using your own two legs. And uh, it's a run street, so just getting out every single day. As simple as that, really. But over time, it's grown and it's grown into something else and it started off as just a pathetic daft measly way to just get out for a run and i started run streaking november the 30th 2015 but really it started long before that it's a mentality thing that i've grown to become and it is a part of me now and i accept that and really i'm an addict and that's what it's like being an addict and obviously my addiction's running and i just enjoy it so i enjoy getting out running in the open fresh air more often than not and i have done run streaks on the treadmill um, when I've been restricted and not been able to go outside but it's something that's kept me going and I'm grateful for having that simple ability to put one foot in front of the other and I'm not advocating ever run streaking and rest is good but for me it works and there's simple reasons why it gives me something to look forward to, something to recognise your day towards and it gives you something to train for when there's nothing else around, no other races, events or records to beat and I've enjoyed that, I've uh, run through pain, run through injury which I'd never advocate but I've done it and when you sit down come away from it all and you finish your big marathons your blocks and you're finding yourself at mile 25 with difficulty putting one foot in front of the other you reflect on that and you reflect backwards that running and run streaking for that matter means that you've got something more to give like another strength or another means of putting one foot in front of the other and it finds that inner strength like deep in yourself which yeah it makes me proud uh, another thing a run streak's done is it's given me belief like belief that and it is a little bit like strength that you can overcome stuff that you once probably believed that you couldn't and uh going against like when people have told you obviously not to do it um which at times probably is stupidity which i do admit but it's given me the belief that i can still get out there and do it 
and run streaking becomes a little bit more than just putting one foot in front of the other then and giving you that depth to your running that is further than just putting one foot in front of the other and it may be that it brings you marathon PBs, mile PBs, 10k efforts or whatever you want to take from it but it gives you a little bit more and something different to aim for which almost becomes like a distraction tool wider than just PB in itself um, and yeah it's become like like I mentioned earlier part of me that I am grateful for you might ask as well like why did I start run streaking or what made me start and to be honest it was an accident so I was running Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and prior to being a runner I was a footballer like most of the runners local anyway or team sport athletes and prior to that I was a footballer so I trained every day uh, did something every day played on a weekend went to the gym and whatnot but I kind of just fell into the habit of running Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and then having Friday off as recovery and then Saturday, Sunday running again and back into the swing of it Friday off as recovery and that Friday then suddenly became I don't need the recovery anymore uh, what can I do? so I go out for a 5k like I'm doing now and just take it easy and then before you knew it I was doing two weeks and then start running again two weeks again and before I knew it that two weeks turned into a month and then my streak collapsed on the 29th of November 2015 so I had to have it off because I was sick as a dog and in honesty I've probably been sicker since but I was laid in my bed wind battering on the window with sickness headaches like throbbing couldn't go out and miss the Barnsley 10k so off the back of that on the 30th of November I ran and I ran 5 mile and that 5 mile was easy it was tough but I got out there and that was the start and then I've run every day since but that five mile turned into difference and I've gone out I've run 100 mile weeks the 40 mile weeks I've done 10 mile weeks I've also done 170 mile weeks and run a marathon every day and the daft stuff I've run 73 mile in one day and still managed to run the day after but that confidence that I've picked up from that has allowed me to then push it into the next day and the day after and my initial philosophy were if I can run 26 mile and then the day after run 5 mile I'd much rather have the 5 mile ache in my legs than the 26 mile ache in my legs so yeah it's method of a madness or something is that what you call it but or method in the madness but that was my philosophy to begin with and as my streak has adapted as I've gone through the marathon cycle after marathon cycle my philosophy has changed in a sense so I do appreciate the recovery more and in my 2714 days I wouldn't be I am proud to say but it's also crackers my average mileage per day 
has been about 14.8 which is ridiculous ridiculously high but it's what's led me to the person that i am today so a part of that of me is proud but i do respect the recovery and do know that to ensure full adaptation to training you've got to recover and recover efficiently so it has adapted but still won't lead me to having a day off in my uh, running life at the moment anyway but obviously it has to adapt over the years and you have to grow with it but there has been individuals so a big idol Ron Hill who has done 52 years but don't quote me on that uh, before he had to stop his run streak and there's people that have done longer than that and there is a website street runners international where you self declare how far and how long you've gone for which is pretty cool to see against everyone else across the world so that's a, a little bit about my run streak anyway i hope you enjoyed me on this typical 5k easy friday night ganter canter but it's been no daft no ridiculous i've used it as a way of slowing me down and it's worked in a fashion uh, i am on the uphill climb now back home me day 2714 done um just like any other day any other day ticked off ran this morning done my normal training week race yesterday but still getting out just running just keeping running and boxing my life and the day away but it's been a pleasure um i'll catch you on the flip side and enjoy i hope you enjoyed this uh random episode the cookies rambles <laughs>